What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Now let's take a look at some coaching points in this ball game, starting with the Arizona Cardinals, and instantly you want to begin with the quarterback position. Ryan Lindley has to be decisive. That football has to come out quick, accurate, and into the hands of their playmakers. Allow those guys to make one miss and get up the field and generate a big play in the passing game. The interior offensive line has to be able to pick up the stunts. When you look at the matchup, guard center guard versus Star Latule and also Kawan Short, that's a battle that the Cardinals have to win. Those are two excellent defense tackles and the Panthers do a lot of creative things with their guys up front. And I will go with more read and react coverage on the back end. I like what they have from a personnel standpoint in the secondary. Guys like Patterson, Cromartie, Tyron Matthew, Tony Jefferson, those guys are excellent. Even Deion Buchanan. I would play off a little bit, keep everything in front of you, drive, make a play, and get off the field. And for Carolina in this ballgame, they cannot get outflanked defensively. One thing that the Cardinals do exceptionally well, they get the edge in the running game. They create numbers disadvantages for your defense in the passing game with their quick passes, their bubble screens. Those things can't happen. If you're outflanked, you're going to get gashed for big plays on the ground and via the air. And they have to handle pressure with the running game. The best way to defeat the blitz is to run right at it. And the Panthers do a great job in running downhill. That offensive line has started to play well. And they're able to run versus pressure. They're able to run versus a reduced box so I think they're going to have to run downhill to win this ball game versus Arizona and they have to win above the rim on the flanks you're facing guys of the caliber of Larry Fitzgerald Michael Floyd they're able to win those 50 50 balls on the outside and if you can't compete above the rim you could find yourself giving up again big plays down the field in the passing game the Arizona Cardinals are one of the best run defensive teams in the game and I'm gonna show you how they can stop the weak side G from the Carolina Panthers in this wild card matchup. Show you what we're talking about. What we're saying, as far as weak side G, we're gonna pull the backside guard, the play side guard, we're gonna pull him backside in the hole. Now, what you're trying to do is get the down block here, down block, pull him around, lead him in here, down, down, trying to hook, or you could try to hook this guy here. Whatever you're trying to do up front, but you really wanna pull the backside guard, I'm sorry, you're pulling him backside, so you're gonna to try to hook him, Get this guy hooked, down block, down block. Now it's simple for the linemen. Their job is to try to secure a gap. So you want this defensive end to secure the B gap. B Why? Because he has contained help with the safety in the corner. Play side tackle that's lined up over the guard, boom, try to secure that, that A gap. Now you want the guy over the, ta the center, the nose, secure that A gap. They can't allow the, the guard to get to the second level and they can't allow this guard here, the play side guard, the one that's not pulling, to climb to the second level as well and, and block one of these backers. Now what you want, you want this backer here to take the wrong shoulder approach to the pulling guard and that will allow this guy, this backer, to be aggressive in getting in the hole because what they want to do is run here. Now you have guys playing contain, he's coming over, he's coming here, secure gaps, secure gap, don't let yourself get hooked and you can make a play at or behind the line of scrimmage. So this is one way versus Carolina. Arizona can stop the weak side G. They're going to see a lot of counters, a lot of pulls, a lot of power plays, and if they can stop the run, it's big for these guys to put Carolina in a passing situation because they match up well. The Cardinals do in the secondary better versus the passing game as opposed to the run. So it's all about stopping the running play, and one of the Panthers' staple is the weak side power G. One formation the Cardinals love to utilize is the trips formation. And what they try to do is put Larry Fitzgerald on the inside of that trips, which causes some problems for opposing defenses and teams don't know how to match up versus the trips formation. I'm gonna show you how they can play the trips and effectively take away Larry Fitzgerald and be in better position to make a play. What you wanna do, you wanna jam the biggest threat. And in my opinion, the biggest threat would be the guy on the line of scrimmage. So you wanna hold him up, occupy him. So now you really take away their ability to run the quick screen or the bubble screen because you've already jammed the wide receiver that can get the biggest block, that can have the biggest effect blocking down and springing a big gain. Take him out by jamming him and now you're gonna play inside out with these two wide receivers. So you're gonna play inside out. You're gonna bracket those guys. So 
Now, whatever they do, you're just reading their routes. So if this guy wants to break out, now you know you have him and he has to get over top. Or if he breaks out and he stays the course, now what you're doing, you're gonna have the backer wall off, safety's gonna maintain, and he has him man. So now you have a situation where you can effectively take away the trips side of the formation. Or let's say now he wants, they wanna cross, they wanna run some sort of scissors concept. Now what you do, he wants to go in, he wants to go out. Safety is going to take the, whoever's the biggest threat. If you're playing cover three or what have you, you already have the corner dropping. He can pick up here along with the nickelback. He can take the guy that's going in, walling off with the backer. So there's different ways to play teams that love to run trips, but jamming the outside guy or the guy that's aligned on the line of scrimmage is the biggest key. So if they align the furthest guy out, on the LOS, which is the line of scrimmage, jam him, take away that option, play these guys inside out, bracket them, and allow the safety to pick up whomever comes and threatens his area. So this is one way Carolina can effectively defend the trips formation that they're probably gonna see a lot of versus Arizona. I think spreading the field is the best way for Arizona to not only get Lindley in a rhythm, but to also aid them in neutralizing the Panthers' pressure. You see right here as Arizona goes empty, the Rams have the matchup versus the formation, which reduces the box and clearly defines responsibilities. Now as we run it, the offensive line knows where everyone is coming from. Lindley is able to see pre-snap where the soft spot lies in the zone, and the ball comes out decisively and accurately at the top of his drop. We know Carolina loves to apply pressure, but with the way the cards can spread the field, they should do a great job of weakening that pressure and move the football downfield. Earlier in the season, the much maligned Panthers offensive line was a liability, but they've gotten better each and every week in pass protection. You see right here versus Atlanta, a great illustration of communicating and adjusting to pick up the double linebacker pressure, which results in a big play in the passing game on first down for Cam Newton and that Panthers offense. Now here in the second example, you see the offensive line and the running back understanding their assignments the back realizes that he's responsible for the free rusher, which in this case is a guy coming across the formation. The blitz gets picked up. Newton has a clean pocket and delivers another strike for a first down. This is a type of pass pro execution that has to happen versus a pressure heavy team like Arizona in order for Carolina to be successful. The biggest X factor for the Cardinals in this ball game will be their ability to have offensive balance. That's the best way they can help out any quarterback they have back there in the pocket, whether it's Ryan Lindley or even Logan Thomas if he enters the game. They have to find ways to create that balance. They can run the football. They do have the backs to do so, and if they are able to operate off balance, they're a very tough team to beat. I believe it's going to take a collaborative effort from the receiving core of Carolina in order for their offense to have success, not only catching the football, but also blocking in the running game. There's two 1,000-yard receivers on the roster. That's rookie wide receiver Calvin Benjamin and tight end Greg Olson, the veteran. So it's going to be a tough matchup versus the Cardinals' secondary, so they're going to need more than those two guys to step up and make plays consistently in order for this offense to have a chance. I like the Panthers in this ball game. I think their defense will do a great job in slowing down what Arizona wants to do offensively. They'll be able to get stops. They'll be able to get pressure on Ryan Lindley. I think offensively, they'll be able to capitalize in the red zone once they get inside the 20. So I think the ground game and the Panthers front seven will be the reason why they move on to the next round. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Panther fan forums and Cardinal fan forums for always showing football game plan support.